This is a session on combination play in the middle third of the field. I'm going to start with some passing patterns to get the players used to movements ahead and in support of the ball. Then we're going to take it into a midfield rotational game. I'm going to ask players to create space for themselves and one another. And then finally, we're going to take it into a seven versus seven game. And we're going to see if we can pull the different parts of the session together in a game situation. Starting positions. Sean, your starting position is anywhere in this channel here, between that blue line and this blue line. Don't go outside the red discs. Jake, the same thing between that blue line and in here, okay? So what we're working on is a little combination between you guys. Nick's gonna play the entry pass in, and you're gonna play the highest player. So you're gonna play into Jake. After you release the ball, you're just gonna make a straight run towards where Natalie is. And at the same time, after Nick releases the ball, Adrian, you're gonna make a straight run down to where Manny is, okay? You're gonna drop the ball off for Sean, and Sean, depending on which way you've made your angle, you can play Nick or you can play Adrian, okay? And you're just gonna play the ball into the end. When it gets to you at the end, you're gonna transfer it, and then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna play the high player, and Sean will play off for Jake. And Jake, you'll play either player. So both of you need to make a run. Let's just walk it through. So Nick, off you go, play in there, good. Little one, lay in, good, you can go out either side. Good, and Nick will play it into Nat. Get on your bike, Nick. Yeah, Nat will switch it, good. Good, play in there, good. Well done, play either side, and you release the ball in there, good. And have a switch, Max. Okay, hold it there. Okay, so you get the idea. So when you're next up, come inside of the flags. When you're on your active rest, be behind the flags. I'm working on you two to try and have opposite movements now. So if Jake checks in here, I want you to show an angle on the opposite side, okay? Let's ask for the ball. If you want the ball, if you're in a good position. Are we ready? Let's zip him in now. Let's go one touch. Play one touch wherever we can. Good, good. Play it in. You can take two on the end, good. Try and play it in front of him, so he's moving on to the ball. just worked on a little bit of combination play in the midfield. We have four boxes in here, okay? The aim of the game is to work the ball from these orange targets in a game, maybe the two central defenders, through the midfield three, out to maybe the forward players, okay? The rule is you cannot be in the same box as a teammate. So now we're working on rotational movement Maybe it's our six, eight, and 10 in a game. So maybe if Manny goes high, maybe Jake would come in to receive the ball. Maybe it would be a sideways switch. Maybe Manny and Sean would go lateral movements. Good, so I want that movement from you guys to try and unsettle the, the Gray defenders. If Gray's win it, you're playing out to Gray's and you're doing the same thing going this way across the field, okay? So the big thing is, Movement to create space for yourself, like we said, going away to come back, going left to go right, and then movement to create space for other players. So just by maybe Sean getting out and vacating the space, it allows our other midfielders to come in, maybe unsettle the defenders and receive the ball. Any questions? Yeah, they can drop it back. If it's not on, don't force it, play backwards. For as much as you can, once we get that entry pass in, can we try and use combination through the middle to get out the other side? Okay, every time you do it successfully, I'll give you a point. We'll play to seven points. What I want to do is replicate the game a little bit now. So if we play through to a central defender and he's got a bit of time on the ball, 
maybe we'll try and change the point of attack. So as that ball's traveling now, we need new movements in the middle. Okay, so think about your movement as the ball's traveling and delay your movements as needed to show up on time. Okay, so every time the ball goes to a target now, you must switch the play. So every time it goes there, you must switch it before it goes back in. I'm gonna ask the closest player now to go and be the highest player, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to go all the way to stretch him, just to create a little bit more space for Adrian and Brett to come and get on the ball because the first player is staying still, the second and third midfielder are coming in too tight and we're, we're losing the ball, it's a little bit tight, everybody's on one line. So I'm gonna ask the closest player to go high. Play! So Alex, get out, Alex, go high, go high, go high, go high, good. One. Now you've got to get out Adrian, that's it, there we go. And we'll see if that creates a little more space for us. Run walks. Like that. Already you can see the orange is getting a little more stretched now because the greys are using the space better. So we're just going to play a game. But to start with, we're going to be restricted. So I want a goalkeeper and two defenders for Gray. The three midfielders need to be in three of these boxes. You're going to be contained to the area we just played in. Okay, two defenders, striker up there. Good, okay. The starting point will be from the goalkeeper. You've got a three versus one build out. And then Gray's, you're trying to find your entry pass into the midfield area. Now, if you play in, Nick, if you want, you can come and overlap and get down the channel. Same with you, DJ. But it has to start with an entry pass into the midfield. Once it's gone in, yeah, you can make the space a little bit bigger and go out. But until that first pass goes in, you're contained to the squares. <coughs> so movement, so get out, Manny, if you can. Wait for the shape, wait for the shape, let him back in. Work the ball out. Work out with the centre backs. Work out the movement in the middle, don't forget. Oh, he's off again. Yeah, it's free play, once and through. Let me see the shape. So again, we're working on the midfield three and the movement. Key coaching points is make space for yourself, make space for your teammates. And I think awareness is the biggest thing if you're gonna play in the midfield. You have to be aware of where you are in relation to the ball and then where, you should, good players always have a picture in their mind, should know where their, other, where their opponents are, they should know where their teammates are. And from that picture dictates where you run and where you move to. Don't always have to make the same runs um, and we want to encourage our players to, to have a little bit more creativity. So I know in the pro game you'll have set, set areas where they want you to run, set build out patterns. I think we've got to combine that. Yes, we want to have two or three ways the kids will know um, a pattern that you like to play. But there's also something to be said for just being creative and letting them solve the problems themselves.